Ladies and gentlemen, the filmmakers behind Like Crazy. 12 months ago, right now, we, we were in John's uh, guest bedroom trying to finish a cut to just get it to Sundance and hopefully just even be included in the festival. So to be sitting here right now and sharing the movie with you guys 12 months later is, is a fairy tale. We had a magical little coffee meeting and Drake had sort of a passion that you don't you don't see every day when you have meetings. He was he said, I want to make a movie a year. I have the passion, I have the fire. And we set out to do our first one four years ago. And um, now we just finished his, his fourth movie in a row in four years. Our films are, are improvised. All the, all the dialogue is improvised from a very specific 50-page outline. Uh, the new one's 80 pages, and this one was 50. But it's, it's, it's kind of like a short story, but it's got so many things that normal scripts don't have, like backstory and uh, character objectives and subtext and exposition and emotion and stuff like that. So it really kind of lays out exactly what's happening for the characters in the scene, and then the dialogue comes as a product of that. I mean, the script that we all sort of work on is very detailed. And so even though it's, the dialogue is improv, every scene really does have sort of a beginning, middle, and end. And it's very well structured and very well thought out. It really starts with Drake's process, which is, you know, he, he wants the actors to uh, improvise everything, even marks. And, you know, so we don't even know where they're going to go for the most part, you know. Uh, so we have to come up with, with good ways to, to sort of cover things. And, and what happens is we, we sort of go you know, through doors, through windows, things like that. Uh, I want to try not to stifle the process so that on set it's scary. If it's not scary, we're not doing something risky and exciting and spontaneity can't occur. Drake had assembled a three hour cut of the film. So we had kind of like a, a blueprint to work from, but certainly it's just a, a different kind of process because it's, you know, you're using stuff from every single take and the dialogue is never always the same. It's always changing and you know, as they're as we're talking, it's like you know, focus is over here, and the actors are here, and they're in and out, and you know, like seeing the crew. So there's a lot of that going on. It's a really fun process, though, because we get we the, the writing process continues. We're we're constantly writing the film. Yeah. B ben and I are constantly writing it, and and then and then in, and then in the editing room, we're constantly writing it. So it's just it's just constantly evolving until it's locked. Yeah, I mean, the reason that we decided to. Um, go forward with this idea was because it just kept coming up in conversation really. Um, we'd come back from Sundance and uh, in January 2010 we're just like, well we better do something right now, what are we going to do, what are we going to do and um, just the, the topic of conversation that kept coming up were these experiences with long distance relationships. Ben and I have both been in long distance relationships with women overseas and we share that in common. So it, it's funny to think about the commonality of that. It's like, well, of course, we should it, write about what we know and what we've experienced. 